for my best... So it would seem my new best friend, <laughs> Michaela Gian. <laughs> did, I, not there, did I call ahead? Uh, thank you, Michaela. Jo I joined in the kitchen making a lovely Italian dessert. Is that right? Italian tiramisu. What is it exactly? So tiramisu, do you know, it means lift me up. Does it? Tiramisu means pull me up. So... It doesn't mean layers. Well, no, it literally means pull me up. Oh. Tiramisu is, means pull me up off the ground. Oh, right. So nice. lift me up. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Pick, I thought pick it meant me layers. Up. I didn't know that. The traditional ones got coffee, um, alcohol, yeah. sugar. So I guess it's like a no, pick me up, yeah. Pick me up sort of thing. Oh, um, but we're going to do a little sunshine summer version. I just love the way you've like put it in the jar. Jam jar. Yeah. Such a good idea. So you what's great is work. this dessert is best the next day. Yeah. Okay. So make it the day before. There's something about it. I don't know. It just goes ooh. Yeah. And that's why if you put them in the little jars, you can stack them up in your fridge. You know, last a few I love days. The jars. So I'm going to start with what we call crema di mascarpone. So this part of the tiramisu is the ver is the same as if we were going to do the coffee and the um, liqueur version. Yeah. And what I love about this recipe is you don't have to weigh anything. Okay. So you what? don't have to like. It, it can sort of be one of those classic Italians: a bit of this, a bit of that. Yeah. You have three eggs. I like that. I've separated them, yeah. and then it's three tablespoons of sugar, caster sugar, with the yolks. Although what I love about this already, Michaela, is it's not too sweet. Good. And you've got that lovely sharp like, bite that you've got. Sharp, yeah, with the oh, raspberry is my favourite fruit, so. I... But that's why, again, it's one. Why I say don't weigh this is do it to some people want it sweeter. You can add extra. Mm. But this crema di mascarpone is three eggs separated, three tablespoons of sugar, and then so we're gonna whip the whites to stiff peaks. Yeah. There we go. And obviously that is going to take me a little bit of time. So I got one down here that's oh, already that's, done. That's by magic. That's nice. Where is it? Do your whites first because um, not everyone might know this, but it's the fat in the yolk that would stop them from going oh, right, stiff. Okay. So do the white, and then it, you just don't have to wash up. So mm. you do the whites. Yeah. And then you go back to your yolks, and you want to get this to like a really creamy. Keep it going, and it'll change from that bright yellow to like a creamy white, and it will. I'm trying to see where my. Honest girl. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and then into that, we're going to put um, a whole tub of mascarpone. Ooh, I and then love a that. tub no, of is ricotta. That cheese? Mascarpone. Yeah. Mascarpone, it's cheese, isn't it? So um, it strictly is a cheese, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a, the, yeah, like yeah. a really nice creamy cheese. So there you go. So, and this. Which I now have on my top, which is. <laughs> the problem with leaning against one of your amazing desserts, Michaela, is they do tend <laughs> to come off on tops. So you want to stir that in, and I'm going to, like I said, I've got one here that I made earlier. Yeah. There you go. And see how white it's got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then what you need to do is you need to fold the whites into gently into the. I'm just going to. I have a feeling that's just the eggs. I feel like I can taste marzipan and I don't know why. What's the, is it the... So there's amaretto in there. Amaretto. Oh, nice. I have to it. do this one, cos I've... And is that with the biscuits as well, Michaela? Is that? The almond taste come from the biscuits as well? Yes, yeah, so... What this dessert you can do is, traditionally, you use marsala in a, in a tiramisu. And as kids, when we used to eat Have My Nonna's version, Nonna. we'd go, Nonna, why have you put hairspray in it? Because, you know, the <laughs> alcohol, you don't really understand yeah. as a child. Yeah. Um, so my mum used to do this version for us without alcohol and That's instead would use cranberry juice. OK. So, I would put in this dessert, instead of marsala, I'd use amaretto mm -hmm. because you've got the amaretti biscuits. Yeah. That's a really good idea. So Lovely. this... Really nice. ..really gently creates this, like, almost... The, the white should be really fluffy and um, it's got very little sugar in. And this is your crema di mascarpone. So mum will often serve this over, like, uh, stewed fruit. So you can have this as a dessert in its own way. It's, like, it's like a custard it's like yeah, or a cream. cream. Exactly. And this over fresh berries is delicious. So, Michele, you don't need to put that in the fridge to set or anything? That, no, that, I mean... Or, like or stiffen up that... that. The cream. It's definitely a better dessert the next day, so I would put it in the fridge just to settle, but no. And the other thing is, is it has got raw eggs in, which yeah. a lot of people are like, you know, I said earlier, my dad literally dipped my firstborn, so, you know, four months old, raw eggs, alcohol, coffee, chocolate, sugar. 
But um, it's, it's okay though, that is, isn't it? So if you, I don't know if you know this, but on eggs, can you see there's like a lion's, a lion's stamp? Uh -huh. Yeah. If it's got the lion stamp on it, you, it, you, they, do, they've don't been worry. checked for like salmonella, okay. so you can have them raw. Completely. I didn't know that. Yeah, even pregnant women could right. have them. Yep. Obviously, if you get them from a farm. So look for that lion. Yeah. I love that kind of grandparent license though. Like we're, grandparents around kids are hilarious, aren't they? Like yeah. I walked out of an ice cream parlor and like in, when Sam, when Casper was about like three months old or something, and I, and I walked down, I just busted my dad and my son who was three months old, just like this. I know exactly what you're doing. He's like, uh, but it's Italian. Not what it seems. That's what, like, that's what nanas and granddads exactly do. That's what they do. Well, the Italian, you know, it's classic. If you've been free in Italy, I've, you go into like my aunt's house and you'd be like, oh no, I can't eat gluten. Oh, I'll have some pizza. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll do you a pasta. Don't worry about, about it. About, no, but they don't get it. They, it's just not part of their like. <laughs> yeah. You know, they just don't get it. Right, so my raspberry part, all it is in here, I've got um, fresh raspberries, you could use frozen, and this is where... They the freeze well raspberries, don't they? Yeah, really good. And here, ice and sugar, yeah. and this is where you put your cranberry juice or your marsala or your amaretto. Mm -hmm. And this is the part, if you want it more sweet, to put more, taste this. So some people don't want a tart raspberry, they want it sweet, so you can put more ice and sugar. Quite, quite, quite a bit of sugar in there. Yeah. yeah. So you just whiz that up. And that, watch this now. So we're going to assemble. Here's your sponge fingers. I love sponge now, fingers. Now, I love doing them in a jar because, like I said, they stack, they go in your fridge, but you can use a fancy pansy as well. You get through a lot of jam in your house, don't you? Do it well there. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to crumble these. Oh, is that what that is at the bottom? Yeah, sponge fingers? So sponge oh, finger I didn't know at the that. bottom. Oh, let me try and get some of that. And then on top of your sponge finger, we're going to put <laughs> this raspberry coolie mix. Oh, it's so lovely. Okay. So pretty, aren't they? And then you're going to get this. Could and do you're going to. with the kids, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we're going to layer it up now. Layer it up. And, and kind of presumably you can do this with any kind of good berries or. Totally, fruit. totally, absolutely. And what, again, what I love about it is I haven't really measured it. So if you don't, as many yeah. sponge fingers. But what I love now is you do half. And these are Maretti biscuits. Oh, they're lovely. Go in this little hidden layer. And because they're a bit more of a crunchy biscuit, they uh, keep their yeah. texture. And then I go with a bit more of the crema di mascarpone on top. So the sponge finger doesn't get, like, sodden if you leave it overnight. It's OK still. But it's, it's no different to a tiramisu with the, with the coffee and yeah. the... Um, I guess that's what's yeah. So a there. trifle as well. You know, it is meant to go a bit soft. Yeah. And then I just top it with some lovely toasted almonds. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Look and at I that. just think and for summer's day, yeah, put the lid on. Yeah, put the lid on. In and the fridge, everyone's happy. So nice. And the Chiapa household again. Yeah. yeah. She's nailed it. Yeah. Thank you. Michael. You're welcome, Thanks, guys. Uh, for all details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our wonderful chefs, uh, just head to the This Morning.